today we're going to be going over some vehicles that you should buy in GTA Online if you are on a budget. We'll be going over vehicles that are completely free and all the way up to max budgets of four million dollars. Now I have made these types of videos in the past with different vehicles so if you want to check them out after this video is done be sure to check them out down below in the description. Anyways I hope you go on to enjoy and without further ado let's get into it. Let's start off with some free vehicles that you could also purchase if you wanted to. Starting off with the Sabre Turbo that you can get for $15,000. It's honestly a pretty great car, it has a top speed of 110 miles per hour. There's also no need to upgrade it to the custom version because the upgrades are practically the same. The main difference you'll notice is you get hydraulics with the custom version, but if you're okay with not having that, you can get a pretty awesome muscle car completely free. We also have the BF Injection, which you could find on the streets or purchase for $16,000. It has a 106 mile per hour top speed, and it honestly doesn't have a ton of customizations or anything like that, but for a free vehicle, it's honestly pretty fun to off-road with this thing. It's really small, it's really light, and like I said, it's a lot of fun. The final free vehicle is going to be the Sentinel XS, which you could find on the streets for free, or you could purchase it for $60,000. I'd recommend trying to find it, because if you do, you could find one that already has some upgrades on it, which is great. It has 117 mile per hour top speed, and it can be fitted with HSW modifications, making its new top speed 137 miles per hour, which is pretty insane. Of course, that will cost a fair bit of money, but even the regular Sentinel XS is a pretty amazing vehicle. Now, let's say you have a 100 thousand dollar budget consider purchasing the hot knife for ninety thousand dollars it has 109 mile per hour top speed and i have to say it looks stunning i was a huge fan of this back on ps3 but i didn't buy the collector's edition of gta 5 or something back then and i was never able to get it which was a huge disappointment and when i got ps4 i was finally able to get the vehicle and i absolutely loved it and i still love it to this day it's honestly really cool if you love choppers, consider purchasing the Zombie Bobber. For $99,000, this motorcycle has a 113 mile per hour top speed, and personally, it's my favorite looking bike in the entire game. I have to say it looks stunning, especially with like a nice dark blue or a dark purple paint job, and a really nice ultra blue pearlescent. I think it looks phenomenal, and of course, you gotta put those chrome rims on it, but I have to say, it's a pretty amazing bike. The final vehicle we're gonna go over with a $100,000 budget is the Mesa, and that is going to be the off-roading Mesa with that big roll cage on it. You guys could purchase it for $87,000 and it has a top speed of 99 miles per hour, which is honestly pretty great. It would be pretty awesome though if we did get a newer version of this vehicle in GTA Online, maybe without the roll cage on it and with some more modifications because the Mesa has literally no visual upgrades, which kind of sucks, but you could still pop some nice off-road tires on there, change the color, put some window tint on that thing, and you got a pretty sick lifted off-roading Jeep. Now you have a $200,000 budget. Let's talk about the Shafter V12, which you could purchase for $116,000. It has 124 mile per hour top speed, 34 miles per hour faster than the regular Shafter that you could find on the streets, so it is definitely worth it to purchase. It also has a higher top speed than most of the sports cars and matches top speeds with some supercars like the Adder. And don't forget that is a $1 million supercar. So this car is honestly pretty great and it obviously has that V12 engine which makes it so powerful and so fast. You could also consider purchasing the Rumpo Custom for $130,000. It has a 98 mile per hour top speed and I pretty much only have one thing to say about this vehicle. It is the perfect budget heist van. And finally, we have the Coke, which you could purchase for $138,000 with a 119 mile per hour top speed. This car has a lot of cool modifications. It also handles pretty well, and personally, I like it more than the Coke D10. And in real life, I have to say, the body style of the C7 Corvette is a lot nicer than the C8, but the interior of the C8 Corvette beats the C7s by a mile, but too bad in GTA 5 they all look like crap anyways. But still, the regular Coquet is honestly a pretty nice looking car. Now you have a $300,000 budget, and you don't always need to purchase a car, maybe purchase a stunt plane like the Mallard for $250,000. It has a 140 mile per hour top speed, and it is a ton of fun. My friends and I used to fly these things around all the time back in the day because it was a ton of fun. It's a stunt plane, it's got great agility, and we were flying all throughout the city challenging each other to see who would end up crashing first and who was the better pilot. It's a pretty great plane, and the price is pretty damn cheap. You could also consider purchasing the Baller LELWB for $247,000. It has a 108 mile per hour top speed, in my opinion, it's one of the nicest Range Rovers in the game. Obviously, you have the regular Ballers, which in my opinion, don't look all that great, but this one, I have to say, 
for the price, it's looking pretty damn nice. And the Bowler ST is also pretty cool, but I mean, you get a couple extra modifications that don't look all that great. You could stance the ST version, but it costs a lot more money. That's why I'm saying this one, in my opinion, I think looks the best. And it's a pretty nice looking Range Rover. And finally, we have the Super Diamond, which you could purchase for $250,000. It has a 111 mile per hour top speed. It's not the nicest Rolls Royce in GTA Online, but it is still a Rolls Royce and it's pretty damn nice. Now let's say you have a $500,000 budget, you could purchase the armored version of the Shafter V12 for $325,000, which is honestly not too shabby because it's the exact same as the regular Shafter V12, but now it could survive an explosion and its windows are also partially bulletproof, which is definitely really beneficial. And like I said, the car only costs $325,000, which is pretty damn cheap for what you're getting. You could also purchase the Camacho for $345,000. It has 116 mile per hour top speed and it is one of the best off-roading vehicles with a cheap price tag in GTA Online. When I say one of the best, I mean it is literally tied for first with the Trophy Truck and the Desert Raid, but those vehicles are a lot more expensive. The Camacho is dirt cheap and it's awesome. And finally, we have the Pegasi Taurus, which you could purchase for $498,000. It has a 127 mile per hour top speed and it is one of the fastest and best looking SUVs in the game. And it also has a bunch of different mods you could toss on it and liveries. It's honestly pretty great. It's a Lamborghini Urus. The only thing I would change is a little bit on the front end and a little bit on the side skirts and I think it would be pretty flawless, but all in all, it's still a pretty amazing vehicle. Now you have a $750,000 budget and you should consider purchasing the Zentorno for $725,000. It has a 122 mile per hour top speed and it is still one of the best supercars based on looks and performance. You could also purchase the Turismo Classic for $705,000. It has a 120 mile per hour top speed and it could be fitted with HSW upgrades, which means you can get that top speed up to 150 miles per hour. And I have to say, it's one of the nicest sports classic cars that we got in GTA Online. And it's also one of my favorite classic Ferraris or any Ferrari in general in real life. And finally, we have the Comet Retro Custom, which you could purchase for $745,000. That's also including the base price of the Comet, which is pretty great. This car is a 121 mile per hour top speed, and it is one of my personal favorite Benny's vehicles in GTA Online. This thing is freaking awesome, and it looks amazing. Now you have a $1 million budget, and you should consider purchasing the Caracara 4x4 for $875,000. It has a 103 mile per hour top speed, it's got a beautiful design, thank you to Rockstar for that, and it is fitted with tons of different mods and liveries. It's one of the best looking trucks in the game, and it looks even better if you pop some F1 tires on there as well. You could also purchase the Hakucho Drag for $976,000. This thing has a 126 mile per hour top speed, and if you fit it with HSW mods, this thing will reach speeds of 157 miles per hour. It is also the best bike for time trials. After a couple of weeks of playing GTA Online, this bike will pay itself off and start making you a consistent amount of about $450,000 every single week, which I have to say is pretty amazing. And finally, we have the Vapid Click, which you could purchase for $909,000. This thing has a 117 mile per hour top speed, and in my opinion, it is one of the best cars to use in muscle car races based on handling, acceleration, and top speed. I remember I was in first place in a muscle car race and my gauntlet held fire. I thought I was smoking everybody. Then I had to slow down around a sharp turn. And then this guy just came out in his Vapid Click, zoomed around the corner, no issues whatsoever. And then I never saw him again until the end of the race where he was just dancing in everybody's faces because he beat everybody by a mile. This thing is truly amazing. Now you have a $1,250,000 budget. Consider purchasing the Nightshare for $1,245,000. This thing has a 104 mile per hour top speed and it is the perfect vehicle for solo players. And also, a Presser Mark II users will absolutely hate you because it's very fast, heavily armored, and you can absorb every single missile and a Presser Mark II user will shoot at you. Then they'll have to dip, go get some more missiles, and by then, you will be long gone. You could also purchase the Jugular for $1,225,000. This thing has a 126 mile per hour top speed and it's got amazing handling and it is the perfect vehicle to use in off-road sports car races. Plus, it also sounds awesome, but when I use this thing in sports car races and we have to go off-road, even for a couple of seconds, this car will outperform every other sports car in the game. Because like I said, 
Its off-road handling is top tier, and even when it's on the track, its handling is still amazing. This thing is all-wheel drive. It's an amazing vehicle. Finally, we have the Dominator GTT, which you could purchase for $1,220,000. It has a top speed of 115 miles per hour, and it is definitely my favorite LS tuner vehicle. It's got some amazing mods. It may not be the fastest, but it is truly a beautiful car. Now you have a $1.5 million budget, and you should consider purchasing the Rhino Tank for $1.5 million. It has a 40 mile per hour top speed, and there really isn't too much to say about this thing. But all I have to say is the fact that it's a tank. It's not the best tank, but it is a tank. You could also purchase the Shalijin GT for $1,300,000. This thing has a 125 mile per hour top speed, and it's honestly a beautiful car. It's got tons of awesome modifications. It's very fast and handles really, really well. It's one of the most perfect cars to use in races, and it also sounds really awesome. And finally, we have the Pagasi Tempesta, which you could purchase for $1,329,000 with a 121 mile per hour top speed. This thing is freaking awesome. It's very fast, handles very well, and even though it has a very minimal amount of upgrades, it still looks absolutely beautiful. Now you have a $1,750,000 budget, and you should definitely consider purchasing the Jubilee. For $1,650,000, this thing has a 116 mile per hour top speed, it's got amazing design, and it also has bulletproof windows and armor upgrades, and it also can be fitted with a missile lock-on jammer or a remote control unit. This thing is an absolute beast, and I actually want it in an RP server I play on called Grand RP, and it's extremely useful in there because, like I said, the windows are bulletproof, and since there's no explosives in this RP server, it makes it really hard for people to kill you. They are also this video's sponsor. Have you ever wanted to play GTA 5 as a police officer, or as a doctor, or as a gang member, or drive hundreds of different real cars? If so, check out Grand RP, one of the best roleplay servers in the world. If you click the link down below in the description, when you join, you get $25,000 in-game completely free. Now with that current budget, you could also consider purchasing the Apocalypse, Future Shock, or Nightmare Bruiser. For $1,609,000, this thing has a 110 mile per hour top speed, and it is freaking awesome. It's an amazing vehicle to plow through anything with, even trucks and buses, and personally, I like it better than the Ramp Buggy and the Phantom Wedge. It can drop mines, has plasma turrets or 50 caliber MG turrets. It can also jump, have nitrous or a shunt boost. This thing is freaking awesome. And of course, you gotta put that giant mega ramming thing on the front of it, because like I said, then you can plow through literally anything that gets in your way. You could also purchase the Buzzard for $1,750,000. It has a 145 mile per hour top speed and can be called in right next to you at any time. It's very fast, but it's definitely not the strongest helicopter in the game, but it is still extremely useful. Now you have a $2 million budget. I would recommend purchasing the Sparrow for $1,815,000. Now you will need a Kasatka in order to actually purchase this thing, but it is definitely worth it. It has a 168 mile per hour top speed. It could also be called in right next to you at any time at any location. And it's also a bit stronger than the buzzard, but it does take more damage if you don't land it properly compared to the buzzard. It can also shoot missiles very fast and it can outrun homing missiles if it's flying at top speed. All in all, it's a great vehicle, plus if you actually run the Coca Rico heist a lot, it's very, very useful for preps. You could also go ahead and grab the Insurgent Pickup for $1,795,500. It has a 91 mile per hour top speed, it's heavily armored, it has a turret on the top of it, it can hold 9 people, and it can be upgraded to the custom version, and you get a ton of extra perks like a better gun, better armor, and some pretty awesome other upgrades as well. All in all, it's a pretty great vehicle, and if you got a squad running with you, this thing is an unstoppable force on the streets. You could also purchase the Comet S2 for $1,878,000. It has a top speed of 123 miles per hour. It has a ton of awesome modifications. It's very fast and handles really well. And it is one of my favorite cars in the game to modify because no matter what color I put it in, it looks great with the modifications that I put on it. Plus, you could also have twin turbos on the exhaust pipes out there. And I have to just say, that shit looks beautiful. Now you managed to save up $2.5 million. And if you're looking for some stuff to buy, First off, buy the Kasatka for $2.2 million. It has a 41 mile per hour top speed. You could start up the Cayo Perico heist there, and then you could also purchase the Sparrow. This thing can also be fitted with guided missiles that have a very, very long range, 
and can really troll some of your friends and scare the shit out of them, because I do that all the time, and it's honestly a ton of fun. But the main reason you want it is so you could start the Cowperico heist and start making bank, because that is the best way to make money in GTA Online. You could also grab the Buffalo STX for $2,150,000. It has a top speed of 126 miles per hour. It can be fitted with homing missile jammers or a remote control unit. It has tons of awesome upgrades. It's very fast, handles like a god, and it looks beautiful. And of course, once again, that's thanks to Rockstar. Finally, you could also purchase is the RC tank for $2,275,000. This thing has a 26 mile per hour top speed and it's really fun to troll people with and it's also extremely hard to destroy and you have multiple turret options including a flamethrower. It's honestly a lot of fun to drive around and like I said, it's very, very hard for people to destroy it. Now you have a $3 million budget. Consider purchasing the Champion for $2,995,000. It has a 124 mile per hour top speed. It can be fitted with a missile jammer or a remote control unit. It's very fast and it looks amazing. And I actually just won the real version of that in Grand RP and it is freaking sick. You could also consider purchasing the SADRR for $2,575,000. It has a 123 mile per hour top speed, and the main reason I love it is because in my opinion, it is one of the best handling supercars in GTA Online. You could also purchase the Overflood Zeno for $2,820,000. It has a 127 mile per hour top speed, and I started using this car in races, and in my opinion, it is up to par with the Emirates and the Krieger, which are normally my go-to supercars for racing. It also has some awesome liveries and modifications as well. It's honestly a pretty great car. Now you have a $4 million budget. Consider purchasing the weaponized Ingus for $3,245,000. It has a 124 mile per hour top speed. It can also be fitted with HSW mods, also a missile lock-on jammer, and or a remote control unit. It also has a turret on the top of it, which is controlled by the driver that can rotate slightly. That is really beneficial compared to the normal mounted turrets, which don't move at all, and you actually gotta turn your car in order to aim it. This one, you just look a little bit to the left or right, and you're good to go. Next up, we have the Torador, which you could purchase for $3,660,000. It has a 135 mile per hour top speed, and it is the fastest underwater vehicle in GTA Online. You can also use the boost underwater and on land. It has homing missiles, and its boost recharge is very, very quick. And of course, if I didn't mention it, it can turn into a submarine. And the final vehicle is going to be the Oppressor Mark II for $3,890,000. It's a pretty amazing vehicle. It has a 127 mile per hour top speed and can be purchased for less if you unlock the trade price along with a lot of the other vehicles in this video. It is the best vehicle in the game for a solo player to make money in free mode. It's got amazing agility and if you fly it right, it can reach speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. There's a link down below in the description to a video telling you guys how to do that. And like I said, these aren't all the best vehicles you could buy on a budget. I just selected three that I haven't talked about in the past that I thought were pretty amazing. Like I said, I've made episodes on this before so check them out down below in the description. But with that said, that's pretty much going to wrap the video up for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.